We're going to be working on combining photos today. You can see I've already got two images off Google Images, and when I was looking at them, I looked for large images. You can click that on the left side of Google. I have this lady with the workout ball, and I also have this very large earth. Because this is CS5, each image document window is in a tab, so I'm going to right-click the earth, move it to a new window, and then I can take this image and just simply, with my V Move tool, click it and drag it over to the main image. And I can get rid of the Earth document window. Uh, I'm going to increase the space to give me a little bit of gray space to work around. Go to Layers, and we're going to make uh, the Earth the, to the correct size with my V Move tool. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the opacity just by clicking over it and dragging it down so it's going to match up. I'm going to click on the transform control box, hold down shift, and I can scale it down without skewing it. We'll place it over top of the ball because that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make it look like she's holding the earth. And that's the idea of combining images or photos uh, is the fact that you're trying to create a surrealistic type effect. I got my transform control where I want it, so I'm going to hit return. It applies it. I'll bring the opacity back up by hovering over the opacity, clicking, and then just bringing it back up to 100%. My image is very easy to work with because the blue earth is very different and contrasting to the black background obviously it's on. So I'm going to go to E eraser, hold down shift E to go to the next eraser, uh, shift E again, and now I'm on the magic eraser. I'm going to magic erase the black outline away from the earth. Obviously I need to put her leg and her hand in front of the earth in order to make this look realistic. So I'm going to click on the visible eye. And now that my earth is invisible on the layer, I'm going to go to the background layer. I'm going to select my quick selection tool, which is W. Uh, I'm going to increase the size of my brush, hit Z to zoom in, and I'm going to drag it, hold down the space bar to move my document so where I can see the actual leg. It's on the, the zoom tool yet, so I'm going to hit W for my quick select tool, and I'm just going to simply select her shoe by dragging over it down onto her leg because I want to place her leg over top of the earth uh, as you can see, sometimes the quick select tool takes too much, so I'm going to hold down the Option Alt key, which will turn it into a minus, and I can just right along the edge, make a couple clicks, or drag it along there, so it replaces it. Uh, I'm going to zoom in so I can get this a little bit better. Go back to, that was Z for zoom, W for quick select tool, we'll quick select that back in there, maybe a little bit lower down here. Uh, I'm going to hold down the space bar to move my screen with the hand tool, and we're going to quick select the rest of the shoe, and I'll come back. Anything that didn't get appropriately selected uh, with the Option Alt key to minus it away. And the bottom of the shoe right in here. And obviously this is too much, so I'm going to hold that Option Alt. You can see right there the plus turns into a minus, which I'll just quick select that out of there. All right, I'm going to zoom out. We'll move it again with the space bar. I did Z for zoom. The space will go to my magic wand tool W. I'm going to be able to right click this and now I can layer via copy. And you can see here over my layers panel that I actually just created a layer of just her foot that is going to end up covering up the earth. So I don't get confused later on. Uh, I'm going to label this um, foot and then you can see up here I already labeled the earth earth. And now I'm going to go back to the background layer and I'm going to select the hand because the hand is also over the workout ball which is going to end up being over the top of the earth as well. So I'll go back and I have to select the layer. You can see my uh, magic wand shows back up and I'm just going to select her hand and I'm going to hit Z for zoom. We're going to zoom in, space bar to move it and this one back to quick select so W. I got to be really perfect on this because it's really obvious where the hand is and is not on here. So I'm just trying to get the tip of the hand I don't have to do this um, absolutely perfect for the rest of the hand. Like over here, I don't really uh, mind if it doesn't get it perfectly because only this part is going to be covering the ball. If I make a copy of this, again, it's just going to be over the top of the same image anyway. So just like before, I'm going to right-click it. I'm going to layer via copy. And this time, it's really hard to see, but right inside there, there's a hand. So I'm going to take this layer, and I'm going to call it hand. And that's the main reason why I label these because if I don't label it, it, I cannot see it on my thumbnail in my layers panel what it really is so it's very important to label and if I click the background off you can see there's my hand alright I'm ready to zoom back out so Z for zoom we're zooming back out uh, I can bring the earth back and what I want to do is I want to place 
the foot and the hand above the earth on the layer panel. So I'm going to click on the foot layer. I'm going to drag that to the on top of the earth, take the hand layer, and drag that on top of the earth. And now it really looks like she's holding on to the earth. Uh, the only other thing that we got to do to make this really look like it's really happening is we need to put in a drop shadow. And I'm going to start with the, the hand here. I'm going to go up to layer, layer style, and I can go right to drop shadow. And I'm going to pull my drop shadow option off to the side and just drag that shadow just a little bit to the left so it looks like it's a shadow right on the earth. And I can hit OK. Um, if by chance, you can see there's my hand layer and I can take the drop shadow effect on and off and it just makes it look that much more realistic. You can notice, I'm going to zoom in to show you, right here there's a real funky spot with the, the drop shadow because of the fact that it's putting a drop shadow on an area that should not have a shadow. And that's because of the fact that I'm putting a shadow on this overall shape. So if I take my eraser out, and I'm still on the magic eraser, so I'm going to hit Shift E to go back to a regular eraser, and I can just erase this, and wherever I erase it, it's going to erase the shadow because there's no area for that to take a shadow. And when I bring back my background layer, now you can see there's not that awkward shadow on the wall and the overall shape of the hand. We're going to scroll over to the foot, Z for zoom. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to click on the foot layer. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up to layer, layer style, drop shadow, and then I've got all my drop shadow options on there. And again, I can change the drop shadow on this layer style window, or I can just come over here, click, and I can move the layer we want. And you can see it's just the overall shape of that cutout that I did. And we'll see how much of the actual leg that I need for a drop shadow. For right now, I just want to place the shadow off to the side to make it look like her foot actually belongs on the earth. Always check out your options before you're done. Don't be happy with the first thing. This is just a demo, so I'm doing it quick. Shadow effect on the wall, which I don't want, and that's simply because the shape of the cutout that I did, the layer via copy, is just simply part of her leg. So I'm going to go back to your eraser. I'm going to be very selective. I'm going to change the size of my eraser with the bracket keys. Very selective of where my brush is, and this doesn't really matter. And I can actually see here that I would go back and I would change uh, a bit here because I actually missed part of her leg, and I would add that in later on. I can zoom back out, and now with replacing objects, making drop shadows, using layers, and different effects like that, it looks realistic. Uh, really quick, I'm going to correct a few things. I can see there's a, a white highlight on her knee that's just awkward to me. So I'm going to hit Command-Shift-N to make a new layer. I'm going to call this the Healing Layer. I'm calling it the healing layer because I'm going to use the spot healing brush, which is J for the spot healing brush. And I'm going to make sure it's clicked on sample all layers. And I'm just going to get rid of this white spot by clicking it once. And it should make it a little bit bigger, actually, I'm using the bracket key. Click on that. And now that is gone, the little white reflective spot that's awkward to me. I'm going to go back to her. So we're going to click off the foot. I'm going to click the earth off and I'm going to go back and I'm going to quick select that area that I missed right in here. And this shouldn't be too bad, so I'm going to Z zoom in. And I'm just going to add another layer in there with the magic wand somewhere in here of all this that I missed. Uh, I can reduce my brush size with the bracket keys, Option Alt to reduce the size. And I'm going to layer this via copy. Uh, the area is empty, which is, brings me to a good point if you're not on the right layer, you're not going to be able to do anything. You can see I'm on the healing layer, which is absolutely nothing there other than that little black dot we created. So I need to go back to the background. Now I can right click and layer via copy. And there's a little piece here, so I'm going to place this with the foot so that when I bring the earth back, the foot back, now I have that, no longer have that, that spot that is not there for her leg. Z for zoom, zoom back out, and we have a finished product. If this was a different object, I could come in with a burn and dodge tool and change the overall shadowing effects. But I think the earth looks good just the way it is, and it looks like she's actually holding it because of the fact that there is a drop shadow on it. I went ahead and uh, paused the video, and I went back through, and I did it a little bit cleaner and nicer the way that I would actually want to do it. Uh, like always, I was just doing a demo, so uh, when I would do this in real life, I'd use a lot more patience and time to make this a lot more accurate.